Hey guys. Dragon Ball Super has been releasing one fiery episode after another. Both Dragon Ball Super episode 121 and 122 were outstanding. According to the sources on the internet, Dragon Ball Super episode 121 received higher ratings in Japan than episode 122. It's hard to choose a favorite to be honest. Anyway, we are here to talk about Dragon Ball Super episode 123. So, there will be spoilers ahead and you should proceed at your own risk. Now that we have got it out of the way, let's begin. Dragon Ball Super 122 hyped up fans for next episode, which is episode 123. We saw Vegeta vs. Chiron finally. It wasn't the best fight, however, the fight had several moments that were enough to bring goosebumps. Vegeta was beaten in the end, and it looks like that Chiron's attacks proved to be the catalyst for Vegeta to awaken the new form of Super Saiyan Blue. There has been no official confirmation regarding the name of the transformation. However many fans have called it a combination of the Ultra Instinct and the Super Saiyan Blue. Again as I already said that there is no confirmation about the power yet. Moving on to the topic at hand. Vegeta was beaten up pretty badly by Jiren in the end, and he will definitely be out for some time. In DBS episode 123, Goku will be going up against Jiren in order to try his luck and it looks like that Goku has actually got a strategy to fight against Jiren. Goku will be using instant transmission with the combination of key attacks in order to distract Jiren. All of this is to confuse Jiren. However, the outcome of this tactic is not yet confirmed. This is according to the preview of Fuji TV for Dragon Ball Super Episode 123. The translation was done by at Kenzairo, who remains one of the most reliable sources of information. It will be interesting to see how it spans out eventually. Will we finally see Jiren's weakness? Personally speaking, I think that Gok is going to end up getting beaten. You might have read the spoilers for Dragon Ball Super 123, in the episode Jiren will be increasing his power even further. I find it hard to believe that Jiren will be troubled by Gok's laughable attempt. In the Shi episode, Goku and Vegeta will be teaming up to fight Jiren. We will see Vegeta in his new form hopefully. That's it from me. P.S. Credits for the translation goes to Ken Zyro. Hey guys. In the most recent episode of Dragon Ball Super, a huge discovery has been made. The discovery is about Vegeta getting a new power-up in the next episode of Dragon Ball Super. The trigger for this power is the beating from Jiren. For those of you who don't know, Vegeta fought against Jiren in Dragon Ball Super 122. We already knew that Vegeta was going to be beaten by Jiren. Let's be honest, whosoever was expecting Vegeta to beat Jiren without any power were a bit too optimistic. Even when Ultra Instinct Goku was unable to defeat Jiren, Vegeta never stood a chance. However, Vegeta did enough to land a couple of hits on Jiren. However, towards the end of the episode, it was speculated that Vegeta will be getting a new power-up. However, this power-up will not be the Ultra Instinct. Vegeta himself said that he didn't want the Ultra Instinct to beat Jiren. He would defeat Jiren in his own way. The whole hint about the power-up was revealed towards the end of the episode, to be more precise, it was in the preview of the next episode. Dragon Ball Super even added the new Super Saiyan Blue form in the new ending for the series. According to Japanese fans, the new Super Saiyan form will actually be a cross between Super Saiyan Blue and Ultra Instinct. They have even named the new form. They are referring to the form as Blue Migat or Migat Blue on the popular fan site 5CH. The fans in the rest of the world have their own names for the transformation. The most popular of these names is Ultra Blue and as you can guess that the name is the combination of Ultra Instinct and Super Saiyan Blue. Royal Blue is being used as a name as well, however, the fans have opted to save it for the completed SSB form. 
I must say that it was really nice on the part of the creators to give Vegeta a new power, as he would have definitely struggled with the new monsters which will be revealed in Dragon Ball Super. With Goku having unlocked Ultra Instinct, Vegeta needed the power-up.